Did you realize that you are currently giving away your most valuable resource for free and you're doing so willingly? In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what that is and why you should stop doing it. Say what? Hey, I'm Steve Kim, rebel leader of nerdfitness.com and I wanna to talk to you today about one of the most important things that you currently possess and it's something that you are giving away throughout the majority of your day, your attention made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! And to make a point, I wanna consider this like a public service announcement. Uh, I just downloaded the Facebook Messenger app and I wanna walk you through here, if you can see this, I wanna walk you through what happens when you sign up. So you click the button. It says, continue as Steve Cam. Okay, that's me. Step one, it says, please Turn on notifications. Not now. Is this the number people can reach you at? Okay. And then it says again, before, I, I, two seconds ago I said, no, I don't want notifications. Then it pings me again in a giant blue box. Please turn on notifications. Again, I click not now. Then it pops up with another pop-up that says, are you sure you don't want to turn on notifications? Yes, continue without notifications. So that's three times in four seconds that it's asked me, please turn on notifications. And then let's see what happens every time you open the app again after that. The first thing it prompts you on is, please turn on notifications. That is four times before you've even typed in a message. It wants you to turn on push notifications so your phone will buzz every time that you receive a message. Think about text messages emails, uh, Facebook messages, Snapchats, uh, direct messaging through Twitter and Instagram. All of these companies are vying for your most valuable asset, your attention, and you're giving it to them willingly. Why? Because they know the more time that you spend on their platform, the more likely they will be to earn advertising dollars off of your attention span. Now there's nothing wrong with that. It's a company trying to make money. That's what they do. But I want you to be aware of this. Just because it's free, doesn't mean it's free. If you are struggling to get enough things done, if you are constantly distracted, if you are unhappy, if you uh, don't find you have the time to read more books, get rid of these distractions. Delete all of the social media apps from your phone. Install Facebook Newsfeed Eradicator that gets rid of the newsfeed in your Facebook. I promise you, you are not missing out on anything. You are missing out on photos of your friend's babies and you are missing out on links to videos on Buzzfeed of dogs and cats. And yes, dogs are amazing. I totally get it. <laughs> Come on, Barney, thank you, babe. <laughs> but if you're trying to do meaningful work, these apps are ruining us. And I get it, I love social media. Internet, the internet is the reason why I can do what I do with nerd fitness. And I don't trust myself because I have a horribly addictive personality, I have a need to please, which means anytime anything comes in on my phone, like a habit, I pick it up and I have to check it. So I had to delete these things from my phone or my day would be ruined. I'd be trying to do meaningful work I would try to write an article, I'd be working on reading a book, and I'd find myself subconsciously, automatically, picking up my phone every time it buzzed or dinged. That is horrible. I have become attached to this device. It controls me, not the other way around. And it's all done under the guise of, we are making your life easier and putting notifications even closer to you so that you always know what's happening with everybody else all the time. Stop it. My challenge to you, delete social media apps from your phone. Install Facebook Newsfeed Eradicator on Facebook. And think, I want you to spend one to two weeks living like this. You can go back to how you were before, but spend one to two weeks doing this. And write down every time you pick up your phone to check social media only to realize that you don't actually have it on your phone anymore. It's pretty crazy. It might take one or two weeks and then you realize that suddenly you don't miss it. You're getting more done, you're less anxious, and you're less worried about what everybody else is thinking about you, and you're getting back to the here and now, the task in front of you, or the people in front of you. Your phone is there to help you, your phone is not there to control you. I wanna leave a comment below. How much of this video pissed you off? 
And how many times during it did you say, I could never do that because if that sounds like you, you're in way too deep. You're in way too deep and you need to get out. It's just a week. At the end of the week, you can go back to living how you were. Hopefully though, you'll realize that in that week, you've been able to get more done. You've had more meaningful conversations with people in front of you rather than staring at your phone. And you're less anxious about how many likes you got or how many times your photo was shared. And in case you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel for more weekly tips on how to level up your life. And I hope to see you over at nerdfitness.com for The Rebellion.